So what I have here is explaining how to run multiple instances of VLC on your Mac. So there's a workaround. This isn't native to VLC if you have it on your Mac, but what I'm gonna show you is how you can set this up and run this using a shell script and then just putting the instance of it on your desktop in order to do this. So first off, if you notice, if you have any files or programs that run in VLC, it'll simply run like this or for each one you click, but there's no way to run the uh, multiple videos side by side. But that's hey, my goal, okay, is I'm going to show you how to do this so you're able to do something like because that. Of Kelly. Okay, so starting off, they have here on the VLC site um, the workaround here that you can run Apple Script right here. And yes, they explain it, but maybe it's not so cut and dry on how to exactly do it right away. So let me show you. So if you look up, I'm going to go to the top right of my Mac desktop, and I'm going to click on the search button here, or Finder, or Spotlight Search, and I'm going to type in Script, Script Editor, there it is. So I click that. Well, I already have an instance open, but what you'll do, and let me do it this way. All right, so I'm going to type in um, New Document, and this is what I'll have. Oops. I'll have here, and then what I'll do is I'll take this code here, I'll copy it, Command C, or you know, right click, copy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste. And then I'm gonna save. And I'm just gonna do multiple VLC windows. You know, I should probably put the spaces between those. All right. So I save that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this file. So there's one window. Okay, that's cool. But I want to play more videos. I just don't want one window. So I'm going to click it again. It looked like nothing happened, but if you go up here and you put this down, look, you've got another window. As far as I know, you can do this as many times as you would like, and it always ends up where you have the last window dragged. So there, and I have four here. At least I thought I did. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna click it again. All right, there we go. So now I'm gonna prove that this runs four windows. It's probably gonna, I'm gonna have trouble because it's gonna overlap here, so I'm gonna have to do this. Turn my volume down. There's two. There's three. There's four. And there you go. As far as I know, you can do this as many times as you want. Maybe this would be something if you're running a Mac or something to drive multiple monitors and it's in a store or something. Maybe you want to loop some videos and you can run this on multiple monitors. So it's useful for something like that. So that's how you do that. Like I said, again, it's just what you do is you double click the script and it pops up. It saves it as, as an Apple script. And then each time you want to open a new window or just start it and then get new windows opened up, you just click start. And then, of course, you can just select these to continuously loop if you like, like this with this button right here. Repeat all or repeat all. Yeah. Okay. And these are private windows, so they're separate from each other. All right, I hope this helps you out. The scripts in the dash, I'll put a link to the VLC site, but I'll also just include it in the comments. So let me know if you have any problems. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.